Now, I have the honor of welcoming my friend, co-producer on this show, the marvelous Christina L. Lewis of Saving Lives on the Go Training Center and Afia Home Care. Hello, darling. How you doing? Hi, Jean. How are you? I'm still the best. You try to be, but you're not. Okay. He's lying. This is what I get for making her co-producer. <laughs> so, tell us the story of Christina. I get the feeling that you're not an Arizona native. I am not. I'm actually from Gary, Indiana, born and raised there. I came to Arizona, Phoenix, with my grandma every summer. So I came during the heat, so everyone always, well, why would you come to the heat? Well, that's when I came to visit grandma. Every summer, my parents sent me to Phoenix, Arizona to be with grandma. How long has your grandma been here? My grandmother has been here 30 plus years, and she came because of her health. She has um, one lung, so she's 87 now, so she came here when she was in her, she, I think she started coming in her 30s before she actually decided to move here. <coughs> but she came, moved, officially moved here in her 40s. All right, so she's been here nearly as long as you've been alive. Yes, <laughs> yes she has. Yeah. So, what made you move out here? Well, at the time... Most people who come in the summer and spend time in the summers, they don't really f like moving here. But I will tell you from my experience and observation over the years that the people who spend summer here first are the ones that can survive it. That's true. But um, we came here, my husband and I, well, now ex-husband. I'm available. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My um, husband at the time and my two girls, which are 26 and 19, and um, he wanted to go to MMI. So it was either Florida or Arizona. So we opted for Arizona because we, I have family here and he has some family as well. So he graduated everything. Um, I came as well because I wanted to be with my grandma, be you know closer with her age, up in age. I wanted to help her. And I was ready to get away from Gary, Indiana. Things were declining and declining fast. But um, I'm a motorcycle rider too, guys. I have my motorcycle license and I did own a crotch rocket. <laughs> Not going there. Mm -hmm. So, tell us about Afia Home Care. Afia Home Care is a non-medical home care agency that I started three and a half years ago um, where I send caregivers out to the home to help with your activities of daily living. So this is home care for people that want to stay at home? Correct. Okay. But I can also send a caregiver to a, a private facility as well. Okay. But you don't have a facility per se. You don't get into all of that infrastructure part of it. No, I do not. I just simply send the caregiver out so they can be either a companion or run errands for the individual. Like I mentioned, help with activities of daily living. So if they need help with bathing, preparing meals, picking up prescriptions, taking them to the doctor, that's what the caregivers would do. Perfect. Okay, and that's a valuable service because a lot of people want to stay at home that's anymore, true. as long as they can. I, my, my late wife's mother, my mother-in-law, she's 98 now, and she still lives at home. Nice. Yeah. You live at home long as you can. Excellent. So, Saving Lives on the Go Training Center, that's quite a mouthful. Saving lives on the train. Saving lives on the go training center. Look at that. You see, you tripped me up. It's a mouthful. <laughs> I started that first. When I first moved here, I worked for another home care agency as a management and home, um, human resource. So I stayed there for a couple of years. Then I said, okay, I'll start my training center. So I had my center, which was in the next building from her. So I would leave there and walk over to my office and do my training. So I trained her staff and many others around, but I mainly trained her staff. Okay, so you do CPR training? I do CPR, first aid, and AED, fingerprinting, notary, drug screen. But in my CPR, I also offer the basic, I offer the pediatric, I offer BLS, which is for the healthcare provider, and pet CPR. <laughs> pet CPR. I knew that was coming. <laughs> That sounds a little hairy. But some people love their pets. That's their fur babies. They prefer to have pets than children, which you can't blame. 
they prefer to have pets than children. Most parents can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at least at some point. But uh, so, how do you do CPR for a dog? I'm not telling you that. You need to come to the class. So that means you need to dial 480-707-7916 and book a class to learn how to resuscitate your pet, even birds, not just dogs and cats. Okay. Now, you said you also do pediatric. Pediatric, um, that's more so for the um, daycares. Okay. Well, I, it's interesting. I was watching one of the uh, medical dramas a while back, and they had somebody actually with a newborn doing CPR right. on a newborn. Yes. I mean, their bones aren't even hard yet. No, they're not. That's why you don't use two hands. You don't use one hand. You have to use two to three fingers. So you'll tell me that, but you won't tell me how to do a dog. Uh-uh. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you how far in depth to press on that poor baby's chest either. So you need to, again, okay. dial 480-707-7916. As you may have noticed throughout <laughs> the, the progress of today's show, there's a pattern developing here as well that you have to call. 480-707-7916. And what if they don't want to call? What if they want to reach you on a website? www.savinglivesonthego.com. Okay. Also can find me on Facebook, yeah. Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus. I'm just all over. So what was it that motivated you to get into, to, to even learn CPR in the first place? Well, back home in Gary, um, my cousin owned Lifesavers Training, which he did for over 20 years. He was in the military, so when he came home, he started his own center. So um, he needed another teacher. So he paid for me to go learn how to do CPR. I did that. But in the meantime, I also was the caregiver for my dad's sister, which was my aunt. Okay. And was, was your aunt elderly or? She was elderly. She's the oldest of my um, dad's siblings. So she was, her son was in Alabama somewhere, whatever. But um, <laughs> I was the one there to take care of her. Okay, and that's why you learned CPR? No. Okay. My cousin paid for me to do that, but that motivated me to be better at what I do because I didn't want her to pass away and I didn't know what to do. Ah, so, so you anticipated that helpless yes. feeling. Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. not a good feeling. And I've said she, this a few times. If, if you're ever the one that's standing there when someone, whether you know them or not, is clutching their chest and writhing on the floor, there's not a much worse feeling than not knowing what to do. So it's worth giving a call to 480-707-7916. But it's not all about heart attacks. A lot of people think it's mainly about heart attacks. You can learn to recognize a stroke. You can save a child in a pool that's drowned. Most people think that the drowning in the water is what kills the person, it's not. So if you come to the class, you'll learn what actually takes the person's life okay. and so, in this last uh, minute and a half or so that we have left, tell us about AED. AED is the automatic external defibrillator and <clears throat> you'll find those in um, the mall. They're supposed to be in the hospitals, which we know they are, but they're supposed to be in all daycares, they're supposed to be in schools, and that will help and recharge the heart. So it's sending electricity into the body. So, I guess if you want to play doctor, you can break the glass, you can take it out and you're clear, right? But if you're touching that body, we're going to need an ambulance for you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll get a charge out of it yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you also do first aid training. Yes. Okay. So, if he's sitting here and this, the motorcycle fell on his head, I can fix the wound. <laughs> and you might not even notice, I do have some historical markers. <laughs> now, you said you're also a notary? Yes, I am. Do you have your notary stamp with you? No, I don't. So you're not, she's not a traveling notary? I am too. <laughs> what I else do you do again? I bring it today. What else do you do? I do fingerprinting, so I'll roll your print so it can go off to the Arizona State Department. So I do that as well. And what else? That's, it. That's enough, right? I hope well, I, I would think it's enough, but I thought Saving Lives on the Go Training Center and Afia Home Care was enough, and you just kept going on and on and on. I bake cakes, <laughs> but no, we're not here to talk about that. But yes, 
Give me a call at 480-707-7916. Savinglivesonthego.com. You see how you interrupt me? You see that? But I'm um, running special with $10 off. Class is $45. If you come in, well, say that you see my video, you can get $10 off. That's not bad. $35. Thank you, Thank Appreciate you. you being here. Always.